another reading video scholars i hope you had a great weekend and that your brain got rested and is ready to go again with this whole new week of online learning so are you ready yeah all right then let's get started today i want to teach you that readers reread when we notice that the words we just read don't make sense or don't connect with what came before, we stop and say, wait, this does not go with what I just read. What's happening? Then we say, oh, I can go back to where the book made sense and reread those pages. That will give me a better idea of what the words say on this page, where it didn't make sense. When readers reread, we look at the pictures and say, what is happening in the story? Then we turn to the next page and read using the pictures and the words and ask ourselves, what's happening on this page? Then we think, how does what's happening on this page go with the pages I just read? Finally, we put the ideas together. We keep rereading until the pages are going together and making sense. Then we read on. So today we are going to keep learning about Eric because Last week, we ended on Eric and we answered all kinds of questions about his family and how they live in America, right? So remember, when we, after we finished reading about Sanu, we filled out a chart, right? About what her family traditions were as Americans, what her family traditions were from Senegal, and what traditions they had using both cultures, right? So today, we're going to reread about Eric and then we're going to go over the chart that we have to make for him all right let me get our book set up and we'll get started all right scholars we have our book set up so let's reread about eric all right let's get started my name is eric i live in a tall apartment building in new york city with my mommy and daddy and our pet parrot called Peppy. My daddy and all my grandparents came to New York from Puerto Rico. Daddy showed me how to find Puerto Rico on a map. It is an island in the ocean not too far from Florida. Mommy, Peppy, and I were born in New York City. When daddy comes home from work, we play our favorite sport, baseball. It's hard to catch the ball when I wear my heavy winter jacket. Last winter, Mommy dad, and Daddy took me to Puerto Rico for a vacation. I learned lots of things about my heritage. Daddy grew up where there are palm trees like in Florida. And it is warm every day in Puerto Rico. So warm that people can always play baseball without a jacket. Everyone in Puerto Rico speaks Spanish, just like my grandparents. In our home, we speak two languages. English and Spanish. Even Peppy speaks English and Spanish. My friends Irma and Glenn speak Spanish too. They come from another island called the Dominican Republic. If you come from a place where the people speak Spanish, you are called a Hispanic. We call ourselves Hispanic Americans because part of us is Spanish and part of us is American. In my city, there are lots of Hispanics from many different countries, but they all speak the same language, Spanish. Sometimes, Irma and Glenn stop by to help me with my chores. We clean beans, then set them in a pot of water overnight to make them soft. Then, Mommy shows me how to crush garlic for sofrito, which is a mixture of Spanish spices that will go into the bean pot. The next night, Mommy, Daddy, and I have our favorite dinner, arroz con pollo y habichuelas. It's rice with chicken and beans. Mommy and I are good cooks. When my parents are at work, 
My mommy's mommy, Nana Carmen, takes me shopping at the carniceria. Rhymes with Maria. The Spanish meat market. I get to pay. Muchas gracias, the grocer says to thank me. To answer, I say, de nada, which means don't mention it. My Nana Carmen visits me every single day. At bedtime, she comes to our home just to kiss me goodnight. Sometimes, she shows me her, t her tiny hurts so I can tell her my special Spanish healing poem. Sana, sana, sana. Si no te curas, hoy bi te curas mañana. Heal, heal, heal. If you don't heal today, you'll heal tomorrow. Then, I say my prayers to my guardian angel, just like my mommy and daddy did when they were little. Nara Carmen says the guardian angel watches over children and keeps them safe while they sleep. When mommy is home from work, she plays Spanish music on the stereo. Then, my friends, mommy and I, dance the merengue. When we hear the music, we shake our hips and move to the beat. One, two, one, two. In Spanish, we count like this. Uno, dos. In my family, next to baseball, we love Spanish dances best. When my madrina, that's my godmother, stops in for a visit, she dances with us. Sometimes, daddy, Nana Carmen, and my friend's mommy join in, and Peppy sings, merengue. Now that we have read, reread re re the story, we are going to go over our chart for Eric and his many different family traditions. All right, let me get it set up and we'll get started. So scholars, now that we've reread about Eric, we can go over our chart, our chart about his family tradition. Because remember, he's Hispanic American. His dad was born in Puerto Rico, right? And his mom was born in America. So we have to look at his American traditions, his Puerto Rican traditions, and what kind of family tradition do they have from both cultures, right? So let's get started. Remember, I took the chance and I filled it out for us. So we're just going to go over it together. Okay, so Let's start with his American traditions because they live where? In New York City, right? So let's go over what those what traditions they have as in their American culture, all right? So first, just like Sanu, they speak what language as Americans? Yes, they speak English. So that's their first American family tradition. They speak English. Another tradition they have is that they play baseball. Because remember, he said that was his dad and his favorite sport, right? And they spoke about how they, he wears a big jacket in the winter to play because it's cold outside. But how they got to play it in Puerto Rico and they went to visit and he didn't have to wear his jacket. So that's another American tradition for his family. They also say their prayers. So... They say prayers as an American tradition. Now we're going to move on to what to their Puerto Rican family traditions, right? So think carefully about what might be on this list that is labeled as a Puerto Rican family tradition. Let's move down the list. So as Puerto Rican, what language do they speak? Yes, they speak Spanish, just like some of our friends from school, right? Because we know some of our friends from our class also speak Spanish. So they speak Spanish as Puerto Rican tradition. They, how do they say thank you? Do you remember? Yes, they say muchas gracias. That's a Puerto Rican tradition because they speak Spanish. And how does Eric say don't mention it? Yes, he says de nada. So that's another tradition that came from his Puerto Rican side. And he also say his prayer, sana, hill. And he also counts in Spanish, right? Uno, dos, one, two. And how does he call his godmother in Spanish? Yes, madrina. 
and what kind of spice do they use for their beans yes sofrito the mixture of spice was called sofrito and what is their favorite meal do you remember what like, really big name really long name yes it was called arroz con pollo y habichuelas which is rice chicken and beans and where do they shop for their meat they go to a regular supermarket that everybody goes to no they go shop at the spanish meat market and they say a special spanish healing poem and what do they dance to yes they dance to merengue all right so now that we've looked at what their tradition was for from the american side and from his puerto rican side let's look at what's the tradition that they use for both cultures see here they play baseball and they say prayers so while baseball and saying prayers is their american tradition it is also their tradition from both cultures that they have mixed together all right so that's our chart for eric's family now that we've finished looking at the chart i'm gonna set up to tell you what your mission for today is okay let me get it set up and we'll get started so scholars are you ready for your mission for today yeah all right here's your mission for today as you read on rise kids today when words are not making sense i want you to go back to the part of the story where the words were making sense and reread from there. All right, that's your mission for today. So, are you ready? Yeah? All right, get ready, get set, go. <laughs>